Okay, so let's say um, you want you've got material, you've got a model, and you want to put some uh, variation to your texture, or you want to merge your texture, you know, from the bottom or from the top, you know, to show perhaps where on the top, or perhaps you know where it's been set on the ground to give it a bit of uh, a bit of change. So what we can do for that is uh, take two materials and uh, bring them together, as we always do. Uh, but this will be using uh, a position gradient. So uh, I've got my little cube model in here and I've baked my maps and my important one here is my position. Uh, I need to have a position uh, mapped baked out. Uh, so let's uh, go to our layers and I'm just going to pick some concrete out of our uh, library and yeah, we'll have that one and perhaps that one too as a cleaner one. So which is which? Ah. <laughs> now I've got two copies of the same thing. There we go, now I've got two different concretes. Uh, so I want this to be on the bottom, so I'm actually going to darken my colour here to uh, sort of signify that it's uh, perhaps a little wetter than, um, wetter than the top. And then we'll add in our black mask, and to that black mask we'll add a generator. And the generator we'll pick is Mask Editor. Now, when Mask Editor comes in, uh, it comes in with some position, uh, some curvature opacity. So we'll just take that out to clear the mask, and then we're coming down to the position gradient. So if I open that up, we'll see we've got all sorts of uh, parameters we can amend here. Uh, but I'm just going to turn the position gradient opacity up. And we should see then that the top of my model is getting this top texture. So in all honesty, it seems to be the wrong way around, which I'm not surprised about. Uh, so what I can do with that is invert it. So it's coming on the top, if that's where you wanted it, terrific. Um, but I'm going to invert the position and get it into the bottom. So now I've got some dirt coming along the bottom of my uh, piece and we can adjust that using all of these different parameters and sliders within the position gradient. So I'm going to switch to the mask view now to make this a little bit clearer uh, so I can increase my balance. So if I turn it up it gets brighter, if I turn it down it gets a little darker and I'm just going to go a little bit below uh, the original default. Uh, I can increase the contrast, which is going to bring down my kind of levels, if you like. So it's going to be uh, much brighter on top, or, sorry, darker on top in this case, much brighter on the bottom, and the kind of gradient between them is going to reduce. And that's quite a nice effect. Uh, I don't quite want it that low, though. Um, we've got a blending mode, uh, so you can change your blending modes as you uh, desire as to make your own you know, uh, look at it. Uh, and now we have the position changes. So we've got right to left, we've got front to back. So if I go right to left, you'll see that it actually changes kind of the position or merges it such that, you know, I've got it on a corner now rather than just going top to bottom. So let me pull that back. Uh, so we've got a top to bottom uh, slider where we can change that position and refine it even further. And even if I open that, we have, you know, other options under there. So under top to bottom, we can invert it again. Uh, so we could invert, you know, left to right, up, down, independently of each other, not just use the overall as I've done here. Um, and we have a blending mode for the, um, for the top to bottom. Whoops, I didn't want that, I want that. Okay, so we also have front to back. So we can introduce some front to back and again we can move the position of our uh, gradient uh, in space on this model only. So it's working on the fact that, you know, this model is in a position in space. It might be, you know, meters to left or right of center um, or back or front. But this is working based upon the position of the model 
to itself, not to everything else. Okay, so that's that. Um, and if I go down to my image textures, I can add some variation into that. So if I go to my um, textures there and have a look down, I want some streaky kind of uh, texture. Let's try this grunge and drag that into the texture position and then slide up my list and increase my texture opacity. And now we get some variation to our position gradient. Perhaps not as much as you might like, uh, but you know it's a question of experimenting. And there we have it, quite subtle, uh, but actually it now looks like this block has been sitting or something. And you know the top is you know, cleaner than the bottom. Uh, which is sometimes what you want. Uh, so yes, I hope you found that useful and I'll talk to you in another video.